Hey there boys and girls and welcome to Faith Flight School. I'm Captain Tyler. Now here at Faith Flight School we learn about the Word of God and how to be doers of it. When we're doers of God's Word and what He shows us to do from it, we will receive all the benefits and all the blessings that God has for us. Now today here at Faith Flight School we're going to start a new series. We're calling it a crusade to recover the lost art of respect. And one of the verses we'll be looking at is 1 Samuel 2.30. Not the whole verse, just the second part of it. So if you got your manuals, that's your Bible, you can open it up to 1 Samuel 2.30. Are you ready? But now the Lord says, Far be it from me, for those who honor me I will honor and those who despise me shall be lightly esteemed. Did you hear that word in there? That word honor? That word honor means the exact same thing as the word respect, which is why we're going to talk about how to recover respect or honor in our lives in this series. Now an example of honoring or respecting could be things like listening to your mom and dad or your teachers at school or at church or talking kind to people and not talking bad about people when they're not around. That's a way that we can honor and respect somebody. We don't want to be disrespectful. That's the opposite of respect. No, we want to be doers of the word. We want to show honor and in turn we will receive honor. So I'm very excited about this new series, and I've even asked my friend Jake Piranha to help us. Are you ready to embark on our crusade? Let's head to the hangar for praise and worship. Hello, boys and girls. How's everybody doing? Good. You guys ready for worship? Everybody stand up. a little sleepy. Do we need to do some uh, some waking up exercises? All right, take your right arm out. Wiggle it around. Wiggle it down.
Please, if you resist him. time it is what time is it it is offering time who really really likes offering time Me. you do well I love offering time too and what we're gonna do is start off with opening our Bible and we're gonna read Psalm 100 so 
Is Psalms in the Old Testament or is it in the New Testament? Say it out loud. Oh. Old Testament. It's almost right in the middle of your Bible. So we're going to open up and we're going to go to Psalm 100 and we're going to read this, okay? It says, Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us, not we ourselves. And we are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. So you know that you can't send your money directly to heaven, right? Have you ever been to the bank where they, you put your money in that tube and it goes and shoots up? Have you seen that? Well, we don't have one of those tubes that go all the way to heaven, right? But what's something that we can give to the Lord that he already doesn't have and he can't give to himself? What's a guess? Respect. Respect? It's a good guess. One more. What do you think? Um, giving, him love. giving him love. That's a really good one. One more. Money. Money? Well, something that we can give to the Lord that he can't give himself is thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. So what do you think of when you think of Thanksgiving a lot of times? You think of a turkey. Yeah, you think of eating food. Yeah, well, Thanksgiving is more than just a holiday. It's not just about eating food. And the best way to think about Thanksgiving is to break it up into two words. Thanks and giving. And you know that when we praise and we sing, we are actually giving. We are actually giving to the Lord when we sing and when we praise and when we worship. And Psalm 100 is talking all about giving to the Lord with our song and with our worship and with our praise and giving thanks. And a lot of times when we come to church, we think about church as coming to receive, right? Well, a lot of going to church is also to give. So what we're going to do is we're going to give our tithe and we're going to give our offerings, but we're going to give our praise to God. And guess what? When we give our praise, he hears us right now. Where's he at? He's in heaven. He hears us in heaven right now. He'll receive that. So we're going to sing together. We're going to sing this Psalm 100 together. And we're going to give to the Lord. He's going to hear us and he's going to receive that and he's going to love it. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Well, let's sing Psalm 100 together.
Good day there Squirts, it's your old friend Jake Runner from the big wide brown land down under Narnia, Australia. Well, I've been talking to my friend Captain Tyler recently and we've been talking about respect. You know, it seems like respect is getting rarer and rarer these days, so I figured it'd be a good idea if we went on a crusade to discover the lost art of respect, to see what respect we can recover in our own lives today. Well, I got to think, where did disrespect come from? Originally, how did it wind up in people? Well, I figured the best place to go was the scripture. Let's turn to Genesis chapter 3, verse 1. Now, the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? You catch that? That's a clue to where the first part of disrespect came into human contact, right? The devil questioned the law. And we know that the Lord only tells the truth, right? Well, the devil questioned that. Well, questioning in and of itself isn't so bad. You know, in your own life. You might ask a question if your parents told you to take out the trash. You might say, Mum, Dad, where are the trash bags? Well, that's a perfectly reasonable question to ask. But, an unreasonable question to ask would be something along the lines of Why do I always have to take out the garbage? Well, that's a, t that's a terrible disrespectful way to ask your parents any kind of question. So, let's read on and see if we see any other clues about where disrespect came from. The woman said to the serpent, We may eat the fruit from the trees of the garden, but God did say you must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden and you must not touch it, for you will die. You will not certainly die, the serpent said to the woman. Did you catch that? The serpent contradicted the word of the Lord. Well, that's very disrespectful. Then, we all know how this story ended. Adam and Eve ignored the word of the Lord, and they ate from the tree anyway, and they disrespected the Lord. And it's from that very moment that disrespect was seeded inside of the hearts of human beings. And it's grown worse and worse until today. Today, respect is rare and precious, like a jewel. Let's go on a crusade to recover the lost art of respect. But on a crusade, we've got to keep our eyes peeled because of the enemies of respect. Ignoring Ira. Interrupting Igma. Intruding Ida interfering Ike and insulting Igor. Come along with me and let's recover the lost out of respect. Okay, you ready? Come join us. I'm quick, I'm sharp, I'm bright, good looking, very rich, and a major blessing. Okay. Get your doers out. I'm a doer, I'm a doer, I'm a doer of the Word of God. We need our Bibles. Thank you. Repeat after me. This is my Bible. This, this is, is my Bible. Bible. It is the Word of God. It, it is, is the Word of God. God. I am what God says I am. I, I am, am what God, God says, says I am. am. I can do what God says I can do. I can, I can do, do what God, God says I can do. And I can be what God says I can be. And I can be what God says I can be. I am. I am. The righteousness. The righteousness. Of God. Of God. In Christ. In Christ. Yay. <laughs> Good day there Squirts, it's her old friend Jake Perona and Mr Wrinkles. We're here looking for gems, looking for jewels, looking to see if we can find another piece, another part of the puzzle of the lost art of respect. Right? Ah, uh, oh, what's that Mr Wrinkles? You've got something, you're going to bring something out. 
Okay. Well, what is it? Paints? Paints? No, 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 Mr. Ringles. This isn't about the art of respect. It's, it's, it, the art doesn't mean, like, arts and crafts. It means about, like, the skill, you know, the, uh, the, the act of giving respect, right? It's not necessarily like, uh, like an arts and crafts type thing. You have something else you want to show the kids? All right, well, let's see it. Oh, what? A, a dirty sock. Oh, what's a dirty sock got to do with anything? I guess I don't quite understand. Hey, 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 guys. Hey, I, I gotta tell you something. You wanted to show the kids what it would look like if you wore a sock for a month and didn't wash it. Hey, hey, I gotta tell you something. It's really funny. <laughs> I know, we're not supposed to talk while the teacher's talking and all that, but it's so funny, I can't wait till after class. <laughs> uh, pardon me here, but uh, we, uh... It's so funny! Yeah. <laughs> Hello? Yes? Hi. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm Jake Perenna, and I've, uh... I know a secret about Jake. <laughs> I'm right, I'm right here. I mean, oh, look, you don't look have to at tell Jake. secrets. Look, about... look, look at his face. <laughs> look at the middle of his face. <laughs> Are you going to let me talk? Uh, what's going on here? He has long nose hairs. <laughs> what are you... What are you... I, I, hold on just a minute here. I, you, you're I think kind a of interrupting monkey this whole thing. climb with your... up those nose hairs. <laughs> Uh, are we, are we trying to, we're trying to uh, talk with the kids here. What are you, what are you, what are you I, I on about? I think I saw Tarzan swimming, clinging from hair to hair. What are you, uh, oh, all right. Oh. Try not to look. Wait a minute. It's so funny. Mr. Wrinkles. Mr. Wrinkles. I think I know who this is. Do you? This is ignoring Ira, isn't it? It sure is. Hmm. Would you look at that? Ignoring Ira. She was ignoring the rules. You know, she came in here and she said she knew the rule that you weren't supposed to talk when the teacher's talking. Right? But she just went ahead and talked right like I wasn't even here. She was ignoring me entirely when I was trying to talk to her. Hmm. You know, that reminds me of a scripture. It reminds me of back in Genesis. Genesis chapter 3, right? Eve was confronted by the serpent in the tree. And she said, well, I know the rules, right? She said, I know the rules and I know I'm not supposed to eat from the tree in, the, in this part of the garden. I'm not supposed to eat from that tree. Right, but just a few verses later, what did she do? She took down a big hunk of that fruit and took a big bunch out of it, gave it to Adam. She just totally ignored the rules and so did Adam. They were ignoring what God had told them to do. They totally disregarded everything that God had set up for them. Well, we don't want to be like that. That is one of the jewels of the lost art of respect. It's paying attention, right? When we pay attention, we are paying respect to those above us and around us. You know, that's a good bit that we've got a lot to work on, you know? I, I wonder. Is there anything that God's been talking to me about that I've been ignoring or putting off? Boy, that wouldn't be good. Well, Crusaders, get out there and go show some respect. Okay, boys and girls. So, what we're going to do, we've been talking about the recovering the lost art of respect. Okay, so we are going to demonstrate that for the class, which is super cool, because you guys are all going to be a part. So I have some volunteers over here. So I'm going to call them up, and what I'm going to have you guys do, and you guys that aren't, aren't um, up here, you can help with this. They're going to demonstrate a respectful way of saying something and a disrespectful way of saying something, okay? And when they do, class over here is going to thumbs up if it's respectful, thumbs down if it's disrespectful. Okay, can you guys do that? You all do that with me? Perfect. Okay, so my first volunteer, come on up my dear. All right, so I'm gonna give you my little mic here. I'm gonna pull this out. Okay, I want you to say it into the mic, okay? And you pick whichever way you wanna do it first, okay? And then we'll be thumbs down or thumbs up. You ready? 
What are you doing here? Oh, what do you think, class? Thumbs down, yeah. Perfect, okay, now say it the, the respectful way. What are you doing here? Very good, she asked, she's just asking a question. What are you doing here? Right, awesome, thanks girl. All right, next up, come on up. All right, are you ready? You gonna pick which way you do it first? Okay, here we go. Really? What do you guys think? What do you think? You wanna say it again? Really? I don't know, what do you think? Yeah, I think that's thumbs up, right? That was respectful? Okay, perfect. All right, show me a, a disrespectful way. Really? Oh, yeah, that's definitely, yeah, definitely down. Yeah, he's like, really? Do you see the way he did it? How his lip curled, his little lip curl? Yeah. All right, come on up. All right, you ready? Yeah. Okay, you pick which way you want to do it first. Here you go. Is dinner ready yet, Mom? Oh, that sounds, what do you guys think? I think so, yeah. Yeah, thumbs up. All right, show me how you would do that the other way. Is dinner ready yet, Mom? What, show, what was that? It looked like you had some body language going on there. Am I right? Yeah. Do it again. Is dinner ready yet, Mom? He's like, is dinner ready yet, Mom? That's kind of like, ah, whatever, Mom. That's not very respectful, is it? Yeah, no, thumbs down, thumbs down. Okay, awesome. I have another volunteer, perfect. All right, you ready? Yeah. Where are my shoes? Oh, check out that attitude. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Thumbs down, yeah, that's totally disrespectful. All right, say it the other way. Where are my shoes? Yeah, so she, where are my shoes? She's just asking a question, right? Perfect, thank you, my dear. All right, so you guys, that's super awesome. You guys all did really great at, um, oops, got my mic back on here. You guys did really great at recovering, being able to tell the difference between respect and disrespect. And that's what we're, what we're trying to do right now. We are trying to recover that in our own lives so that we can um, identify and not be disrespectful to our parents, to our teachers, to everybody around, even our friends. Because, you know, it's, sometimes it's easy to act like that, you know, when you're around somebody that maybe you're not really friends with and get kind of like that, that like attitude. It's easy to get like that. But if you, rec if you identify through body language and through your tone of voice and the way you say things, if you identify those things now, then we can, um, we can stop them so that we can, um, be better about being respectful, right? And that's our, that's, our, that's our goal, is to recover the lost art of respect. Good idea, Squirts. Let's check out these real life scenarios and see if we can identify disrespect. All right, I wanna end today's class with this. You could be stressed about anything, anything in the world. It could be a test. It could be a friend at school. All you gotta do is you gotta take that care that you feel about that thing, you just gotta cast it on the Lord. When you cast it on the Lord, that takes the worry away from you and that puts on him so you don't have to deal with that. Can I get an amen? Okay, let everybody, let's stand, let's stand, let's pray. Lord, I pray over anything that anybody has going on, whether it's a big test, whether it's just a friend at school, I pray that you would help them with it and that you would take away the care for them. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. You guys are dismissed. Did you see that enemy of respect? Let's watch again and see how they recover respect. All right, so the, you know the amazing thing about the Bible and about God is that he can take care of everything for you. If you're stressed about a test, if you are stressed about paying your bills, anything, you can cast that on the Lord. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. Should we let, pray? Yes, let us stand, let's pray. Let's pray, I'll pray about it. Lord, I pray any problems people are having, I pray if somebody has a hard test coming up, if they have bills that they need to pay, anything, Lord, I ask that you, they would cast their care on you and that everything would be taken care of. Jesus, I pray, amen. So we're gonna do an altar call, okay? Does everybody know what an altar call is? I'll just kind of give you, and you do it almost every time you're at church, you just don't, don't realize it, okay? Basically, we're gonna confess that Jesus is our Lord, okay? So if you haven't confessed that Jesus is your Lord, this is your chance, okay? So we wanna give everybody a chance to do that every time we're in church, because you know what? There's a lot of people that come to church that don't know Jesus. They're, they're here, 
but they're coming because they want to learn. They want to know, you know, God's prompted them, okay? So we are going to, we're going to bow our heads and we're going to, we're going to confess Jesus is Lord, okay? So say this after me. Say, Father God, I confess you. I believe in my heart that you sent your son Jesus to die on the cross for my sins. And I confess him as Lord. I believe that he, you raised him from the dead and that he's seated at, the, at your right hand in heaven. And I thank you, Father, for this opportunity. And thank you, Jesus, for washing me clean. Amen. So the really good news about that, guys, is if you didn't pray that for the first time, or if you did pray that for the first time, that you are part of uh, God's family now. You're washed clean, and it's like you're brand new. You're a brand new creature. And the angels in heaven are shouting right now over everybody that confesses Jesus for the first time. And that's exciting. Wasn't that an exciting lesson, boys and girls? I sure thought it was. Today, we learned about the first eye of disrespect. Do you remember what it is? If you said ignoring, you're right. Now, ignoring is when you make the choice to not pay attention or not follow an instruction that you heard. So an example of that would be if your mom or dad tell you to do something and you pretend like you didn't hear them, that's ignoring. But we don't have to do that because we know now to be on the lookout for ignoring. We know that it is one of the eyes of disrespect. And so to be respectful would be to pay attention and be quick to obey, right? But I encourage you guys, you can do it. You can do it this week. You can recover the lost art of respect in your life. Well, that's all the time that we have for today. Thank you for joining us. I'm Captain Tyler, and I'll see you next time.